Good day, friends. Let's talk today about diabetes distress. Now, what is diabetes distress? It's defined as an emotional response characterized by extreme, note the word extreme, apprehension, discomfort, or dejection. So an extreme emotional response and all these negative emotions come into play. Apprehension, discomfort, dejection. And why do they occur? It's because of a perceived inability. Again, note the word perceived. Inability to cope with the challenges and demands of living with diabetes. Now, all of us in endocrinology would agree, it is quite tough to live with diabetes. And it is a challenge. But we do overcome that challenge and we are able to overcome it successfully. But if along the way, we begin to feel afraid, apprehensive, we feel uncomfortable or we feel dejected or sad, that is defined as diabetes distress. How do we handle diabetes distress? The key lies in the definition. The definition is, it is because of a perceived inability to cope with the challenges and demands. So how do we manage diabetes distress? In two ways. First of all, improve your self-perception. If you're a person living with diabetes, improve your self-perception, your self-esteem, your self-beliefs. Feel that you can uh, overcome any challenge that life puts in front of you. Not only that, you can always seek support. So find support from other partners in the healthcare team and in the community at large. This way, your perception will improve, your perception about yourself, your ability to meet the challenges and demands of living with diabetes will go up and that will reduce diabetes distress. If there is one pillar of treatment, the other pillar is to improve our coping skills and also to minimize the burden of living with diabetes. How do we do that? We can improve our coping skills by internalizing positive coping skills and eliminating the negative coping skills. So stop blaming yourself. Stop blaming other people. Stop thinking bad thoughts. Stop ruminating on bad thoughts throughout the day, 24 by 7. Instead, move on to acceptance and optimism. Acceptance that diabetes is here to stay. Optimism that we will certainly be able to manage diabetes. And how do you manage? Remember four positive P's. Think pleasant thoughts. Put things in perspective. Find positive spin-offs. And plan for the future. If we are able to get these coping skills as part and parcel of our behavior, of our mind style, then diabetes distress is taken care of. At the same time, as healthcare professionals, we can help people living with diabetes by minimizing the discomfort of change. Any kind of change is discomforting. So if we can minimize the change, maybe a little bit of dietary modification today, a little bit of physical activity change tomorrow, next week. Learning about glucose monitoring today and perhaps postponing learning about pumps till next week. If we are able to uh, sort of reduce the discomfort of change at any one particular visit, we can reduce diabetes distress. The aim of this video is not to increase distress. Rather, it is to prevent distress. It is to promote you stress or happiness. And if we are able to understand the concept of diabetes distress, how it influences our patients' lives, and how we can correct this, how we can improve it, that will be our contribution to helping our patients live a healthy life with diabetes, live a happy life with diabetes. Thanks.